Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time with episode 122, I believe. And we are starting out here in Jamaica Plain. And, well, we have a new settlement. And before we do anything else, maybe we should try to build it up a bit. Oh, holding down the mouse button opens up the console, the middle mouse button, I should say. So let's get to scrapping. Oh, yeah, 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 you guys only need one bench. I swear I saw something highlight funny over there. Anyway, let's get rid of the things that can go nuclear. And just so everybody knows, I am not feeling 100% right now. I am a bit under the weather, and that may affect me as we go. Might be a little slower. A little less mm, coherent at times, but the show must go on. And it's fun, and you know what? It distracts me a bit from feeling like this. So, now the other problem we're going to have here, aside from your host, is that this character does not have nearly the construction ability or let's say social ability of the Pathfinder character that runs Nuka World. What that means to us is, okay, it's time for some precision scrapping. It means that I don't have supply lines, so I'm not connected to any of my um, other settlements. Cigar box. No, we want the cigar box first. This is precision scrapping. Two wood fiberglass, three cloth, and then the broken bookcase. Picture frame. Picture frame for four wood. Broken door. Sure, we can get rid of that. Out of curiosity, can we put a functional door on there? You know, we can build something that intercepts the signal of the Institute, but we can't fit a door in a frame. <sighs> um, anyway, yeah, I don't have supply lines, so I don't have access to what's in the other settlements. We only have access to what we scrap or what was in my bag to begin with. Oh, this carpet is just way too cheery for Fallout 4. Okay. Uh, dresser, sure. Oh, and a baby rattle. A toy car. A crib. Toy alien. Two plastic and rubber. Oh, I didn't know they had rubber in them. That's good to know. Sleeping bag, no. We have better... We can do better than a sleeping bag. Can we get that bottle? That would be totally precision scrapping. But no. Okay. Oh, sometime I should tell that joke. But it's really not the kind of um, family-friendly joke that we usually have on Checker's channel. So, uh. Okay, so we need some beds. And we're going to go with these vault tech beds because they look really clean. Although I know happiness is supposed to be, to a degree, about how close you are to holes to the outside world. I wonder if those windows will matter. Huh. Huh. Well, let's put a couple more beds in here. I think... I think maybe, maybe, maybe we can put a bed up against the wall here. And then pull another one out maybe like here? Can you get in between? Yeah, easy. Now we've got a big gaping hole here. Oh, could we wall that off? Let's take a look here. I'm not sure. Let's find out. 
How about a barn wall? What does a barn wall look like? Oh, that actually looks pretty, pretty epically stylish. Um, now, I don't know. I don't know how closely calculated that stuff is. I wonder, let's grab it. If we tried to put it in here from the inside. Let's take a look. That looks like it would block out most of the weather. Maybe increase some happiness. If that really is a thing, I don't actually know. I mean, I've been told, I've read it, I just don't know, I've never seen, like, any sort of calculation for it. It's not the most obvious thing. Um, hmm. Oh, good, we've got more stuff in here. We've got a wooden box, take that out. Rug, maybe we can leave that. Broken shelf, um, wooden crate flatbed cart. I used to operate one of these when I worked in a department store long ago. Gas canister. Another gas canister. I don't even have to carry them this time. Plunger. Bottle cap mine. Can we scrap that? No. Can we store it? Sure. Okay. Used oil can. Okay. Toolbox. Contents transferred to workbench. Just as we'd want. Okay, we'll scrap that broken shelf. We'll leave the toolbox. Power armor station is awesome. A couple more wooden crates. And... Look at us go. Nick just staring at the walls. All right. So, we've got some beds. What we're gonna need are some defenses. Oh, broken door. And I don't know how well we're gonna do with defenses. I'll be able to do a little bit, if only because there were some oil cans. Let's get ourselves a little platform out here just to raise our turrets up off the ground. And then we're gonna need some stairs up. Stairs with a sense of humor that decide where they want to go. Okay, not perfect, but not permanent. Now, let's wander on over to turrets Heavy machine gun turret is, I think, the best we're going to be able to do for now. Would love to add spotlights, but we'd also have to add power, and I think we're just not socially set up with supply lines well enough to do that right now. So let's see, we can make a total of two of these. Okay. Let's, Echo Lake Lumber Mill is under attack. Of course it is. Why, why wouldn't it be? Let's uh, set another one to cover the interior here. And then we will go down our staircase and store it. And some lovely god rays coming through the tower of the church. And we probably should try and cover at least something, at least have some defense here. So, although it's not awesome or pretty or anything really good, can we stack this here? I feel like we should be able to. If you were like your better, bigger brother turret, we could. Oh boy. Um. Here, how about here? Ooh, that's actually not such a bad spot. Okay. Well, it's not perfect, but uh, okay, before we head off to Echo Lake, was that lumber mill? Wherever the Echo Lumber was. Water, no concrete. Of course not. And any food? No food, no concrete. Well then, 
Jamaica Plain has 21 defense, 4 beds, and nothing useful. Well, at least for humans, aside from the defense and beds. Those are useful. Okay, anyway, I digress when I should be going to the map, because we must to Far Harbor. And we shall. Okay. The wasteland is home to a variety of dogs, from vicious wild curs to trained attack hounds. And then specimens such as this whose textures have not quite loaded any chance you've rethought helping me close out some nick valentine <sighs> nick nick yeah nick sure thing. what's the case oh my this one straight out of the archives we've already Once talked about this nick i in the land of boston there lived a king of organized crime eddie winter he was a bad man who did a lot of bad things Hurt a lot of innocent people, but he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. I remember him. Winter was from my time. <laughs> Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen. Trying to tell me I'm a scumbag? No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Wow, you've really done your homework, Nick, especially since we've talked about all this before, I believe. Jeez, you've really done your homework on this guy. I have. I uncovered a doozy. Oh, cover that Eddie back Winter up. went and turned himself into a ghoul. Really? 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? No, of course I'm in, Nick. All right, Nick. Already agreed Let's to do this. Guy. You're a good man. Now, That's not true. I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, yep. incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. Yep. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. Yep. That's. We get all the numbers, we get the code. Yep. And then we get winter. Nick. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of winters. I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Okay, I know we've taken this quest from Nick with this character. That's why I always avoided him whenever he started that conversation up, because I knew we had taken it. Huh. Crazy. Alright, well, let's drop into stealth here. And... We need to go to Echo Lake Lumber. Off like a herd of random scrap. Want to change your hairstyle? Visit a barber in one of the major settlements, and perhaps they'll use a fan or a radio. Oh, super mutants. Whoa, okay, we are under fire. Let's get to some cover and figure out what's going on here. Well, he wanted to be green. He's green now. Target down. Another one with miniguns. Gotta put them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laugh it up, fun boy. Would you people quit running in front of me when I shoot? Seriously, who picked up the minigun? You are awesome. You guys are rock stars. Look at them go. Hey, there's a time now those are settlers I can approve of. 
Look at that, the warm, loving glow of a minigun. You rock, sister. And where is your friend with the cool hat? You rock too, sunshine. You guys are awesome. You hang on to those. Bottle cap, seven fusion cells, super sledge, and a laser rifle. I grabbed something else I didn't intend to. Um, mainly, I was thinking... Let's see, six bottle caps, 105 millimeter rounds. Oh, if I just, you know, maybe, 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 maybe come over here and find that lovely super sledge and... Oh, my! Look what's on the ground there. If one of these enterprising settlers happened to pick up a super sledge, who am I to argue? Actually, we could be even more secure of that. You're the one who picked up the minigun. You're the other one who picked up the minigun. Well, we'll leave that there for now. Let's get... What are you carrying? Just looking to trade a little. Let's see. You have a pipe sniper rifle. The fog's poison. An account of the children of Adam. Yeah. Okay. Not really worried about that so much as we're going to have to waddle over to you with a super sledge. I actually have some defenses in here, unfortunately. Not aimed at where the super mutants were. Hi! I just want to trade a few things. You're gonna love this. You really, really want. Actually, we're still carting around all the Institute stuff, aren't we? You know, what kind of fun tactical. Oh, 128 damage. Oh, well, that's for me, though, not necessarily for her. Seven off the automatic institute rifle. Still, let's give her that. So she's going to need some energy cells. Back to ammo. think we've got a few of those. Okay. I know I should have some of those. Why am I not seeing them? Cells. Alien blaster rounds. Fusion cells, that's it. I was looking for E cell, not F cell. Okay. And I don't think we need to give you 4,000 of anything. But, you know... 56, that'll do ya. And then let's make sure that you equip that. What are you looking at? You're charming. Just for I that? I just want to trade a few things. You can carry the super sledge too. And let's see, do we have any armor? No. Okay, well, with ordinance you know. like that, no wonder you wiped out those crabs. Um, my doctor wasn't supposed to mention that. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 you're right. Um, okay. And, well, they're okay. We might need to fix our armor up a little bit. Did we check out all the super mutants? Board think they can keep that. Meyer Lurk meat, you can have that too. 105 millimeter rounds, we'll take that. Rad Roach meat, you can keep that. Three bottle caps, six fusion cells. Laser rifle, sure, why not? Um. Hey there. Oh boy. <sighs> this is why you don't overlap keys. If you're going to have a control system, make different controls for different things. If you're using something like a controller, maybe just use a key to modify other keys. But I tried to drag him with the dragging holding key, which of course kicked me out of my armor. Wouldn't that have been fun in the middle of a fight? Oh, what? Oh, these guys are right here? 
as a ruthless trapper using the facilities. You want to really see ruthless sunshine? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Who's firing? Oh, where'd you come from? Grim Trapper? No, he will not. Wow. Did a number on me, though. Um, what? Okay, this is definitely going to be a close range. Hmm. Stick your hand out there again. Someone's coming. Where'd you go? Right here. I'll find you. you walk away. Okay, nine fusion cells. He had a sledgehammer. Nick, are you trying to use the cone of silence? Nine fusion cells, six forty-five rounds, two stim packs, tactical hardened automatic combat rifle. Mr. Handy Fuel, that would come back come in handy over at Jamaica Plain, Chalk, Rib Cage. I know we've cleared this place out before, but there is still some juicy stuff in here. Aluminum canister, industrial oil canister, canned dog food. Nick, you're getting static in my armor again. Let's grab that short double-barreled shotgun, just so you know we don't set it off. Twelve pre-war money. Ten aluminum, we'll grab that. Um, wow, I never actually put together how close this was to Echo Lake Lumber. Can just get close enough. Your Geiger counter doing cartwheels too. Well, you know, it does get excited by radiation, Nick. It's always been love at first sight between Green Glowy and the Geiger counter. <sighs> A tale as old as time. And other romantic things as well. Alright. Yes, we are carrying too much and cannot run, but we can now find that short double-barreled shotgun, drop that on the ground, come here, do, do this, scrap it, and be on our merry. Now, let's see, oh, we need concrete. Is there any concrete around here we could burn and take with us? Maybe just liberate from their stockpile. There's some concrete. That is so not what I meant to do. Okay. Cinder block. Stairs. Six concrete and four wood. We'll take... Oh, but this is all going into their... into their stockpile. So we need to come over here and to the workshop. Junk. We need some concrete. Let's put... Well, we're going to take ten. We're going to need to give you guys some stuff, too. Have a couple laser rifles. Whoa, still way too much. Um, oh, short automatic pipe rifle. Yeah, you can keep that. Um, tactical 50, sure, why not? Uh, whatever that is. We're not going to sell some of these. A fat man. Mm, I don't know about leaving a fat man with a settlement. Used oil, where's... Let's take that. And is there any food here? No, we've got water, but no food. So what is that dude growing over there? Let's grab some of his food. It seems to be growing Corn, potato... Corn, mute fruit, potato, potato, 
and Tato. They're gonna walk out here. They're gonna be like, "Did, did the guy who helped us just steal all of our food?" I'm, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now. Oh, we never opened that one. Okay, we want to go back to the Commonwealth. And then... Make a jump to... Jamaica Plain. And hopefully... I have enough to put down a cup of water and some food. Maybe another better turret to cover the, uh, I don't know which side that is, but the like opposite side that we've covered so far. Oh, it's a nice bright and shiny day here in Jamaica Plain. So what we want to do, sorry about that, it didn't used to do that quite so much. Okay, and we have enough... Oh, gears are what's going to stop us from putting up another... Um, I'd like to put this somewhere that we couldn't plant. Here we go. So, one water pump. And... We'll give them a second one. Maybe right there-ish. It'll only slightly float in the air. Nah, I don't like that. It's tacky. Okay, now we've got some food we can plant. Nick, Nick, you're standing in the way of food progress. Nick does not care about standing in the way of food progress. Mute fruit. Tato plant. Tato plant. Tato plant. And tato plant. So we have a zero food. Well, because we have zero settlers. Six water. And... Do we actually have enough to put up another turret? Probably not. And we're going to be short on gears this time. Gears. Let's see. Typewriter, maybe? Let's take a look over here quick. See if I missed anything. I'm going to grab that toy alien right up. Baseball glove, file cabinet, light bulb, wooden spoon. None of that will help us. Rat poison, take the ashtray. For ceramic. Some cloth and stuff from the cigarettes. Another pack of cigarettes. Wrench, I don't think we need the steel right now. Turpentine. No, I don't think we want to go down to the basement this time, but... Huh. What is that down there moving in the distance? A ghoul! Reloading. Stealth. Oh, he was stuck. Fix that right up for him. And, well, you know what? Fix that ghoul up, too. Okay. Eight bottle caps and a bobby pin. No, we sure wouldn't, Nick. Six fusion cells, 17 pre-war money. Two more pre-war money on the side. Poor soul who did not make it. And maybe, just maybe we get lucky finding something with a gear in here. Now I'll take the hot plate, though. 16 5mm rounds. We're doing well on 5mm. 
Well, okay, so we need gears, we need things. Another poor soul. And, well, we'll see. Perhaps next time we can scrounge together a few more things to set ourselves up here in Jamaica Plain. But, I think we will bring this episode to a close. And... See what happens next time. Alrighty. I would like to point out that if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. Also, I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be on my channel about page. I would like to thank you guys for being the best community out there. Truly, you guys are awesome and you make this an absolute joy to do. And it's always a pleasure to see you in the comments. And just thanks. I would also like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and ask you, above all, to please take care.